if you are planning to study uh, your PhD in Exeter, Exeter University, I think is around more than 91% of the research is world leading for our department. And the ecosystem you get here and support from people and professors, that's incredible. I'm Yogendra. My PhD is in operations research. I model supply chain dynamics with the help of the principles of operations, mathematics and control systems engineering to help industries to set replenishment orders, forecast their demands and set production targets so that they can meet the customer orders. I have a multidisciplinary background. My background involves mechanical engineering, astronautics and space engineering, focused on space mission design and trajectory optimization. But when it comes to research, that has always been an inspiration for me to see how a research can help in the progress of the knowledge and society at large. The reason why I came to Exeter University is twofold. A, the reputation of the university, and B, the reputation of my supervisor. I feel the challenges that you get during the PhD. Every day you realize how fun and challenging at the same time. The learning process, I think, is the most enjoyable thing for me in the PhD. Yeah. Extra is beautiful. The valleys, the hike, uh, tracks, the Exmouth coastal areas, such a beautiful place to live, to enjoy. It is good in terms of a student life as well. My personal idea is to stay in academia. There might be instances that I collaborate with industry. I collaborate almost every year. We have consultancy projects from different industries across the world. Collaboration and visiting industries makes you realize the real world environment and the real world problem. So it is good to have a collaboration there, but uh, I personally would like to stick to academia as long as I can. Traveling is a part, I will say, essential part of a researcher's life. Conferences help you network, collaborate with inspirational figures in the field. They are the place to showcase yourself and university really helps you with the funding with that. You know, selecting your PhD research topic. Try to make a timely and timeless contribution and make sure that drives you. And it doesn't only contribute to your career, it contributes to scientific community and society at large.